I'm uh, gonna go ahead and throw the bumper on, then the headlights, and that should be about it, I think. Um, I hate to do it in the gravel, but you know, circumstances getting dark, I'd rather just get her done. Alright, guys, it's nighttime, but uh, we are gonna be doing the uh, highway data log. Uh, this is gonna be the first drive, technically. I don't count point out my garage the first drive, but um. Yeah, I'm nervous, but we let her run for a little bit and idle and give her a few revs, so she should be all right. But can't kick into boost yet, so it's just gonna be normal highway cruising. Got recorded for two to three minutes, and we'll see how that goes from there. That was a bit rough start, but that might be because it's cold and wet out. She's on the road. It sounds so good under the tunnel. Oh my god, you can just hear it. Oh. Alright guys, the data log is recording. Tell me to do some basic highway cruising. Didn't really tell me to do anything specific. Just to cruise for three minutes on the highway. But everything seems smooth so far. Um, great. I got to switch lanes. But everything seems smooth so far. So that's good. Um, no hesitation. No rough idle. No popping. No carrying on. Uh, the only thing that seems weird is the gas pedal is really, really light. But. I guess that is normal. Um, if, if, if that's not normal, let me know for anybody that has a Kenny Bell setup. But um, yeah, it's not. It doesn't bother me any. I'm just. It's just a weird feeling. I'm about to get used to. But um, yeah, we're just doing a basic cruise, not getting into any boost. So yeah, this is technically the first drive. So the fuel keeps slowing down. But yeah, uh, we'll pick up and have another update. First drive went pretty well. Uh, I stopped at the gas station just to see what she looks like with the intercooler, and it's not super noticeable, but it's there. But yeah, everything sounds good. It runs good. It ain't bad at all. Alrighty, guys, the first drive went good. It's a few days later. I drove this car since then. I wanted to make sure everything was good. I got a second tune loaded into it that uh, Woodbine sent me. And we data logged it again. The fuel trim issue seems to be fixed, I think. I'm hoping. Uh, he said the data log looked great. Um, did a lot of work. Uh, tore the injectors and everything back out. The spark plugs already checked the gaps. Everything looks good. Um, hopefully, you know, this resolved the issue. Seems like it resolved it so far on his end that he was looking at. But, um, yeah, I got, um, got my air fuel ratio gauge in today. I'm uh, going to go over that in the next video. Um, this is going to be the outro, by the way. Sorry, I'm trying to pace out the videos. Um, trying to, you know, there's not much to film uh, besides this. So I'm trying to pace out the videos, get a couple of videos out of this whole supercharger journey. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys understand that. I'm just trying to actually get a couple of videos out. Not two big videos and run out of ideas. So I hope you guys understand that. But don't forget to buy your merch. Uh, click up here. Um, Merch is uh, very cheap. I made sure it's cheap for you guys to afford. And it helps me out when you buy merch. Uh, helps me with my build, of course. I mean, I wouldn't be able to be doing all this uh, supercharger stuff without you guys and all of your support. It means a lot, really. Alrighty, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, maybe get into boost tonight. So stay tuned for that. And see you guys on the next one. Uh -oh.